Electric Flux Passing Through the Disc Today we are going to see how we can calculate an electric flux passing through the disc due to a point charge. Today's video is going to be a bit mathematical, but by the end of this, you'll be able to calculate it very easily. Before we start, let's look at an example to understand it better. Let's say we have a dark closed room. And at one point, we make a tiny hole. Now from this hole, we can see the light coming in and illuminating the wall next to it. This somewhat happens when a charge is kept at a point near the disc. The field coming out of the charge, passes through the area. In other words, electric flux crosses the disc. So in today's video, we are going to find out how much flux passes through the disc. Let's say we have a charge Q, which is kept at a distance X, in front of the disc of radius R. Electric field will come out of this charge and pass through the disc. Let's say a total of E electric field will pass through the disc. Now as we know from this type of examples, that to calculate for the entire disc, we need to take a tiny sample, calculate for that sample, and then integrate it to get the value for the entire object. In the case of the disc, we take a thin ring as a sample element. Let's say the radius of the ring is small r, and the width of the ring is dr, and the area of the disc is dA. Now the electric field passing through the ring is dE, and the area vector will be perpendicular to the ring. Let's say the angle between the electric field vector and area vector is alpha. Now for this ring, we have electric flux d phi is equal to d phi is equal to e dot dA is equal to e into dA into cos alpha. Now, let's calculate the value of the electric field. Now as per the formula, we have e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by x square by r square because the distance between dA and the charge is x square by r square. Now we need the value of dA. If we straighten the ring, we see that the length of the ring is 2 pi r, the circumference of the ring, and the width of the ring is dr. So, therefore, dA is equal to 2 pi r into dr. And lastly, cos alpha. Cos alpha is based by the hypotenuse. Base is x and hypotenuse is under root, x square by r square. So cos alpha is, x by under root, x square by r square. Putting this value of e, dA, and cos alpha, in d phi, we get d phi is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by x square by r square into 2 pi r into d r into x by under root x square by r square. On solving the equation, we get d phi is equal to q by 2 epsilon naught into x into r d r by x square by r square to the power 3 by 2. As discussed earlier, to get the value of phi, we need to integrate d phi. Since the distance from the charge and the disk is constant, and the magnitude of the charge is also constant, so Q and X come out of the equation. So now we have, phi is equal to Q into X by 2 epsilon naught, integration, R dr, X square by R square to the power 3 by 2. On solving the integration, we get phi is equal to Q by 2 epsilon naught, into bracket, 1 minus X by under root R square by X square, close bracket. This is the final formula for electric flux passing through the disk because of the charge. This is it for this video. If you have trouble remembering, recall the room with the light example. In the next video, we are going to find out more on the subject. Also, check the exclusive offers for you. Link in the descriptions. And do not forget to subscribe, and hit the bell icon, to watch our next video first. Click the next video to continue learning.